Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is our chief support for Saturday night for the Commonwealth title and it's also for the WBA gold title which is an official world title eliminator that's just been sanctioned last moment. So a very, very important fight for both guys. On my left, former WBC world champion, Bermain Stavane. On my right, Joe Joyce, Olympic silver medalist, really in a hurry. He's scorching earth as he goes. So this is a really, really great fight. I, don't, I can't think of a kid who's had as many fights as Joe taking on a fight like this. I can't, I can't think of one in recent memory. So this is a very, very important heavyweight fight now, especially with the WBA eliminator sanctioned for it. So Bermain, former WBC champion. You boxed in Britain a couple of times before as an amateur, successful. How's this camp gone and how are you feeling now in London? I feel great. Um, you know, uh, I can't prepare, and um, like I said, it's uh, good with a comeback, uh, should I say. Uh, I want to thank my promoter, Don King. Yes. Um, also, thank um, uh, the other promoters. Uh, well, there's not much to say, you know. Um, we could talk all, all, all we want right now, you know, back and forth. But what matters is what happened on Saturday night. So, like I said, I didn't travel all the way here to lose. And uh, I am prepared. And um, my team makes sure of that. So, uh, that I prevail on Saturday night. So, you're well prepared. And now with this elimination tag and what's happening in the heavyweight division at the moment, you know, we're very, very fortunate in Britain at the moment. Got three major boxers. A victory on Saturday could put you right back in the middle of a fight with one of those extra incentive. Well, I'm not thinking too much past uh, uh, Joyce, so that's what I have to uh, take care of on Saturday. And um, you know, uh, like I said before, I am well prepared, and um, you know, and um, we could talk about other things uh, once. Uh, that's taken care of. You've trained with Joe before. I believe you've sparred together. How did that go? What, did you th what were your thoughts on Joe? Were you impressed? What was his strengths, his weaknesses? There's a lot of, there's a lot of stories about the sparring. I've heard, I've heard all of them. I've heard all of them. Tell me. <laughs> but, uh, in my knowledge, it, were, it wasn't nothing too uh, interesting, you know. It was uh, a couple rounds. I don't think we sparred more than four rounds, so there was nothing to... Uh, you know, comment for what it was. So the, so the confidence they said they're taking from that spar is misplaced? I'm not going based on uh, my uh, the spar we had. Obviously, they're going with uh, uh, the what happened in the last fight uh, with uh, Wilder. Well, I'm glad that's how they, uh, <laughs> they're moving. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I said, we could go back and forth all day. Uh, that don't really matter. What matters is what happened uh, at the O2 Saturday. Brilliant. Well, thanks for coming across. It's a pleasure to have you, and we'll look forward to Saturday night. Appreciate it. So the juggernaut, Joe Joyce, unbeaten, Olympic silver medalist. Should have been a gold medalist, in my opinion, but okay, sir, so our pal. So it's ready for Saturday night, a long training camp in Big Bear with Abel. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. You know, I had a like, really good camp in Big Bear, as usual. I had three great sparring partners, so yeah, I'm ready to go and uh, ready to put a dent on Stavern Saturday night. So, you know, make sure you're all there and see it. And now with this world title elimination belt, as well as the Commonwealth incentive now to really pressure the champions and get yourself into a, a big, big fight. Yeah, so, um, you know, Bermain Stavern, all respect to him, uh, former uh, WBC champion um, you know I have a lot of respect for him taking this fight and uh, you know it's the ideal fight in my situation and uh, you know it's a stepping stone to greater things and it's going to be a great start to this year I won't see him as too much of a stepping stone until after Saturday we'll, we'll see what happens yeah, we'll, there we'll see what happens, <laughs> we'll see what happens block. there it'll be a stumbling block may not have see what happens there. So, so, so Joe yeah. Yeah. After your Olympic success and where you got there and your unbeaten run now as a professional, where do you see yourself going in the next 12 months? What are your ambitions and aims? Which 
you know, it's really interesting at the moment with the heavyweights with Josh and Tyson and Wilder. Where, where do you see yourself fitting in? Well, um, I'm top five in WBA at, at the moment, so, you know, I'm moving fast. I'm, each fight is like, you know, getting me closer and closer to, uh, to them top three names. So, um, you know, I'm just going to keep on working hard in the gym and, you know, after, after this fight, um, should everything go well, which I'm, you know, I have faith in myself, you know, I'm going to be back, I'm going to be back in the gym training for the next one. And, um, you know, this year I'm going to, you know, really make big, big strides. So, uh, yeah, Any comment on this sparring session that's, that everybody's reading into, that Sam likes to talk about? Was uh, it as conclusive as, as he says? Well, yeah, so it was four rounds, but I think that was all he could do at the, at the stage. Ooh, and, uh, you know, he says, he says he took me to school, but, I, you know, I went to university, you know what I mean? <laughs> good answer, good answer. That espresso did the trick, pal, the next four you're up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lads. So I'm going to... Mr. Lewis from Duncan yes, Promotions. Yes. I believe he's got a statement from Don I uh, with his team. For, first, let me say... Firstly, just one sec, Carl. I'd like to welcome you, you for coming across. Thanks for taking the fight. What did you say again? To welcome you for coming across. Thanks for taking the fight. I'm very... Hey, listen. Listen. First of all, God bless the UK. God bless America. We are very, very pleased to be here from Don King Productions, who sends his love. He, we, we have seen nothing but hospitality like I've never seen before. I didn't know Mr. Schaefer was going to be here, my great man Sanchez. I haven't seen him since California. We are in the UK. Listen, everyone's too kind up here. The, step me stone, this is a stumbling block. Stavern is going to win. Huh? In the end of discussion, we thank you for the hospitality. We thank you for the tea and crumpets. It's been wonderful. <laughs> we thank you for the, for the, the love. And I've been to to everywhere. I, to, I go down to uh, some type of market. I had a great time down at the Camden Market. Very, very nice. But let's just be very clear. Don King Productions thanks Poxon. Poxon Sports, you're phenomenal. Richard, you've been phenomenal. John, you've been phenomenal. It's been great. But now, we're here for a spectacular fight, a spectacular night of fight. Mr. Joyce, I've never met you. I've never seen you. You're a very handsome lad. I see great things in modeling for you. But you've made a mistake here. Beware. The top three names for him tonight are Bermain, Beware, Stavern. Those are the top three fighters that you're going to face on Saturday night. Don't get it confused. Don't get it confused. Bermain is ready. And I get very, very nervous for opponents when he doesn't say much. And as you notice, he hasn't said much to say to you. You had better not blink. Don King Productions is letting you know that Bermain Stavern is going to regain the title. And the first step to that is to take care of this gentleman here. Uh -huh. And I say gentleman because we're in the UK. He's a gentleman. That's, you guys are so kind, so hospitable, so gracious. But on Saturday night, the champ is ready. These two great men that on my left and on my right have prepared him. Richard, you're a great promoter. Great, great promoter. But I think everyone knows the cameras are flashing, the cameras are rolling. Joyce made a mistake. Sanchez, I see you winking. He made a mistake. Schaefer, I saw you wink at me. You know he made a mistake. Everyone knows that it, it's great for a 7-0 fighter to say, I want to take on a former heavyweight champion of the world. Big mistake. What time is it? How long? How long? Not long. Come on now, how long? Not long? That's all I have to say. Don King Productions loves you guys. We thank you for being here. Take a picture of the flag. He couldn't be here, but DK is with you in spirit. The parting words from Don King Productions, God bless America, God save the Queen. Joyce, seven and one, you still have a chance. Seven and one, you'll still have a chance after you have that loss on your record. <laughs> Champ, it's your time, Stavern. It's your time, baby. We thank you very much. And with that, I think you want me to introduce his training? Yeah, Charles Rodney, I was right. training camp gone. Excellent. You're happy with where everything is? You're looking forward to the fight? Yes. And what do you think to the fight? I'm very excited about it. It is. This is my third time here. I I got to bring this up because it was it was asked of me this morning. Uh, you were here twice, and they asked me why. Well, I brought a young man over here. Not a young man. Uh, Tony Thompson uh, invited us. We, we came over to fight David Price, uh, which they thought it was an accident that we knocked him out in the first round. What round? First. <laughs> 
Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> and then they thought that was a fluke, so they brought us back again. And what happened? And we stopped them in the. Woo! History's gonna repeat itself. Yeah. So it's it's. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I'm not the the giant slayer, but. That's what they're considering me being a giant slayer. So you're what, 2-0? Oh? Yeah, 2-0 oh, uh, against another silver medalist. I'm also a silver medalist. He was a bronze medalist. Who was a bronze? He was. David Price, yeah. David Price. Well, I stopped bronze, and now we're going to stop a silver. Yeah. So you're working your way up to gold. Yeah, well, we can do gold, too. Doesn't yeah. make a difference. But it's going to be a great fight. And you, Joe, as a boxer, you've seen him probably in the Olympics. You've seen him coming through as a pro. What do you see his strengths and his weaknesses for this fight? Sure, I've, you know, when you watch TV, you see everything, mm. you know, so. See everything but say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'd like to pass you across to Richard Schaefer of Ringstar, Joe's promoter. Welcome, Richard, back to London. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming. You, Thank you, Richard. Uh, hello, everyone. Love to see, love, love to be back in London and see all my friends from the media here from the UK. We had uh, great fun together. We did so many great fights, and uh, this card here, I think it's... Uh, Historic, it's uh, the first one of many ITV cards uh, Al Heyman and PBC will bring here uh, to the UK and the UK fight fans. So I do want to thank uh, Al Heyman. You saw the impact he had in the United States and I'm sure his impact here in the UK is going to be just the same. Uh, a great card, uh, I think the Gale and Eubanks is a 50-50 fight. Uh, that's exactly what boxing fans like to see. Lee Selby on the card, always a great, uh, always a great addition, uh, a very exciting young man. And then of course here I think the fight which is going to steal the night uh, with Joe Joyce and Stavern. Yes. I was fortunate to see uh, Stavern actually uh, when he fought Ariola at the Galen Center in Los Angeles and then I was there for the two fights, uh, the first one against uh, Deontay Wilder and the second one against Deontay Wilder. And I have to tell you, when I saw uh, Stavern walk into the room here, I knew that he means business. I knew that he is ready. Yes. Because he is in a tremendous shape. And when Stavern is in a tremendous shape, he's a very difficult guy to beat. But I have no doubt with Joe Joyce, uh, the heavyweight division today is the glamour division again. There's a lot of action there. And uh, I'm going to make a bold statement now, but I know I'm going to back it up. And I think those of you who know me, they know that I don't just make statements like this. I really mean it. Joe Joyce today is the best heavyweight in the world. And you're going to give him, by the end of the year, I believe he's going to be heavyweight champion of the world. And by next year, he's going to be ready to take on any of those other guys, be it a Fury, a Wilder, uh, or an Anthony Joshua. He is a generational talent. He's committed. He's determined. He has a great team behind him. One of the best trainers, if not the best trainer today in the world with Abel Sanchez. He knows how to make champions. They have a great chemistry. So Joe Joyce will go far. And you watch and see, you will have a new heavyweight champion uh, from London, and his name is going to be Joe Joyce. But first things first, it's going to be a, a very difficult test. I know Stavern is ready. I can't wait. And we want to see the best Stavern because Joe Joyce is going to beat the best Stavern. And he's going to make a statement. He's going to make a statement like Deontay Wilder couldn't do in his first fight or Chris Ariola couldn't do in his first fight. Watch and see. Don't blink. When did you become a stand-up comedian? <laughs> Stand that's a good joke. Oh, my God. Well, you watch and see. You watch and see. It's too Seven bad. and one. Seven and one, baby. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that bow tie is tied far too uh, tight. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's so far too tight. It's, it's going to be a great night. So I said we have a great team. Uh, Joe has a fantastic team. I want to acknowledge Adam Morali as well, who is here from Brandsmith, who is attorney right there. And then, of course, we have uh, Sam Jones here, his manager. And uh, we have Abel Sanchez. And I'd like to uh, turn it over now to uh, Abel, maybe first to say a few words about camp, and he's seen so many great champions, and what he feels and thinks about uh, Joe Joyce. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, to all the Assemble Media for taking time out of your day to do another one of these. Uh, I've uh, watched some tapes on Vermeen. Uh, we prepared for the Vermeen that fought uh, Chris Areola. I think that that was a motivated Vermeen. Uh, he's a tough fight for us. Uh, a uh, young career that's going to go far. These are the kind of fights that are going to prepare us for the elite by the end of this year. Uh, Saturday night, we're going to have a great, great fight because I know Bermain comes to win. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Abel. I do want to acknowledge uh, Showtime, which is here as well. They're actually going to bring out the entire team that shows you how important that fight is in the United States as well. So thank you, uh, Showtime. They have all the announcers, Jim Gray, and everybody is going to be here. The fight is going to be shown live in the United States. It's uh, Joe Joyce's second appearance now on Showtime as well. Uh, Stephen Espinosa uh, fell in love with Joe Joyce, and uh, I think he really wants to have you, uh, as he told you, uh, in Vegas. Uh, he wants to have you back uh, on Showtime much more. But now I want to turn it over to uh, Sam Jones, uh, uh, the manager for uh, Joe Joyce, to say a few words. How are you doing, everyone? Hey. Yeah, just don't elude to the fact that we're, we're, we're going to take the fight that he fought against Deontay Wilde. That's nonsense. We're preparing for the best possible Bermain's de Verne. Mark my words on that. And you're going to have to loosen that on Saturday night. Nah. 100%. 100% coming. And in the sparring, Bermain alluded to the fact that um, we went and sparred Dominic Brazil after himself. His coach at the time, Don, Ch um, Don House, came up to me in the gym and specifically said, Bermain can't spar him no more. We've come to work. So then we, what do we do? Do we hang around? We, we, we came there to work. We didn't take, we're nobody's sparring partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. He went, he went on to spar, um, I think, Ruan Vissar, the big tall ginger guy. I didn't call him. You guys were the press conference yeah. about you no. coming here no. as well. No. No I didn't even invite you. I was playing yeah. my press partner. Yeah. I didn't need him. Let me, let me finish. I didn't need him. Let me finish. I sparred him. No, no, let me finish. I sparred him. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I don't even want to hear what you got to say. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah because, you, because you know what it's you know, the truth. You know, know it's you know the truth. Let him know. You know it's the truth. Who are you going to spar? Who are you going to spar for for Dominic Brazil? So what? You had Joe Joyce to come and help you prepare for Dominic. Like we were using you the same. Not to help yourself. I know what it was. Of course. I know what it was. Of course, we're not sparring. That's why. That's why my trainer house said we're not gonna gonna spar because so we, we, knew, we knew what it was. It was just publicity, and he was coming no, in no, before you guys that's came in. That's before rubbish. you guys right. came in. That's rubbish. Be that's before you guys rubbish. came in. Before you guys that's came rubbish. in. It was already a little bit. That's not bad. He's heated up. 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 You know. Remain. Remain. You're talking rubbish. You sparring somebody, Ruan Visso, is seven foot tall, who spars two, put, throws what two punches around, about? and you got Joe Joyce. What, what are you talking about? You sparring it's all good. You're so preparing for Dominic Brazil, sparring a seven foot guy that throws two about? punches around. <laughs> of course, you're laughing, but it's true. Because I know what, what it was. You think I'm gonna show up and and, 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 and spoil in front of you guys? Don't worry about the champ. I know what it was. Sam is doing his job. Sam is doing his job. Sam Brady's job is the manager. He's got to say that. He's got to say that. No, no, Sam. these are facts. What I'm saying. He's the manager, these champ. Don't worry about it. I'll these do it, with Sam. I'll do it, Sam. These are facts. Sam, you and I are going to see a preliminary bout. Get the gloves. Lewis versus Jones. Come on. And what are you just talking about? What are you talking about? Who's fighting? Who's fighting? Why are you just talking about sparring to happen a year ago? There we go. I'm, I'm hey, saying hey, what you said. You said that we that you. I didn't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I never. I never. I never disrespected him. Never. We took a picture. I posted it on online. That was it. I gave him all the respect. You're then supposed to say that I say I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Then you're supposed to say that I say that. Don't talk and let him talk. Hey, just turn let, up. Let him talk. Let me talk. Just turn up to fight. You're not going to fight for him. Just turn up. You're not uh -oh. fighting him. You're not fighting him. Hey, don't worry that, about me. That's why. That, don't worry about this. me. That's I why. About me. I hope you got it. Hey, Richard, turn his mic off. I hope you got this. Mic off, man. So turn your mic off. Only Don King's table. You know they believe. You know they believe it, Carlos. It's turned off. This guy, bro, you got a heart for me. I don't know if you gay or something, but the bro. You on Twitter, you on everywhere, I know you don't matter to me. You don't matter to me. You do not matter to me. Sit your ass here and I will vote for me. I ain't got nothing to say. 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 You see, don't worry about me. Okay, don't worry about me. You are the beast. The beast. I, you are the beast. I, I, if I walk over there and slap the shit out of you, you won't do nothing. Go get it. Go get it. You won't do nothing. You won't do nothing because you are nothing. Don't get it. You messed up, baby. You messed up, baby. Where's Teddy? Teddy, I need you. Where's Teddy? Where's Teddy? Where about him? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Everything. Come on up. Everything. Where about him? I ain't got no. Thank you. 
It's going to be a great fight. Teddy, yeah. 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 Yeah, yes. I post that picture. I give him all the respect, and I thank him. I thank him for the sparring. But when you guys look, baby. you step up your mouth. Yes, like a little bitch. Nah, nah, nah. Fireworks! Fireworks! Fire we rule! Oh my talking God! Rubbish. Talking rubbish. Oh, well, yes, Buy your tickets now. Buy your tickets now. O2 Arena. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, champ! Come on back, champ! Don't touch me. No. Sam, no. buddy. Do not touch me. No. Don't touch me. Hey, champ! I don't give a fuck about you. Don't don't touch me. You know. All right, baby. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. Don
Tony failed a drive test for second prize fight. So does this drive you to want to get another win to, to make up for that one? Uh, yeah, we're going to kick that ass anyway. Regardless of the history or the past, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I, you know, I, my opinion, I think he should wait a little bit. You know, let's travel the road like everybody else is traveling instead of trying to leap over the fence. He's not ready yet. He can go to training camps. He can spar everybody, all that kind of garbage. But it don't, the sparring don't make the fight. When the bell rings, we'll know who's going to be there and who's not going to be there. John, how wrong do you think they are to take confidence from that? I, I don't really care. I'm just going to do my job on Saturday night, and uh, I, I'm, I'm confident in my abilities. They can just talk or whatever crap they want, but um, we'll see Saturday night what happens. Anybody else? Anybody? Any questions? Yeah, I got something to say. I worked with Joe, what was that, in Kazakhstan? Yeah, yeah. Shumanov County. And, and um, uh, I saw a lot of different things that, that Joe did, and I told him he was a great fighter. But um, like I say, I think it's going to be a great fight, and uh, I wish him all the best, and I wish Berman the best, but I, I, I want people to really look at this fight and see what it's worth. Cause uh, it's a big test for both of these guys. So, like I say, I know what Joyce can bring, and I know what Berman can bring. So we gonna uh, uh, put them together and see what happens. Thanks, Rodney. So we'll close up. Thanks everybody for your attendance. Some tickets are still available at the O2 on the website, or to register for the pay per view is uh, the itvboxoffice.com. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow for the final press conference and face to face for Degale Eubank. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Richard, as well.